So the fathers can teach the kids a lot of things, but the fathers cannot teach them about God. And if the fathers cannot teach the children about God, then the fathers are not teaching. We got men, but do we have godly men? We have men, but do we have strong men? And we have reversed the psychology of the household to change it to be something that God did not ordain it. Now you have the woman working, but the man is not working. How can he teach the child anything? And also, look what the word of God said in Exodus chapter 20. In Exodus 2, chapter 11, I mean. And the word of God said, and it came to pass that in the days when Moses was grown, when he was what? Grown. When he was what? Grown. He's a grown man now. Watch this. That he went out unto his brethren and looked upon their burdens and spied on the Egyptians, smiting one of the Hebrews. Watch this now. Look at the same verse 12. And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. He was a grown man still dealing with anger. He was a grown man still dealing with things of his past. Why? Because he was dealing with something and he didn't know how to get over it. Why? He didn't have a man to teach him the way. He had a man in his life that can teach him how to eat the most expensive food. He had Pharaoh that gave him the most expensive jewelry. He had the expensive clothes, but he didn't have a father to teach him how to love. You see it everywhere. You see it all throughout society. Even in the church, the men of God are in the church, but they're not leading their kids the right way. Your child should be motivated to be who he needs and she needs to be for God. Why? Because daddy always talking about God. The word of God says in the Old Testament, when your children ask you about the old path, tell them who brought them over. Tell them who parted the Red Sea. Tell them who made a way out of no way. Tell them who healed your sickness. Tell them who put money in your bank account. And it was not Santa Claus. <laughs> I've been waiting on Santa Claus to come to the chimney. He ain't came yet. <laughs> right. I don't know what you teach your kids, and I'm not teaching my kid a lot. Amen. Jesus is the one who made a way. God is the one who gave birth to Christ. Jesus is the one who shed his blood. Jesus is the one who told me to teach you. And because he told me to teach you, it's my job and obligation to teach my kids. I got another confession. For years, I missed out on my kids. And I got to ask God for forgiveness for every club that kept me away from my child. For every liquor that kept me away from my child. For every woman that kept me away. The moments you have with your kids are the most important moments you got. Amen. Amen. If you do not take the best opportunity with the moments you got, you will regret the moments you could have had. I know what some father saying, if I could have studied the Bible with my son just a little bit more. If I could have asked my daughter what she was going through, just a little bit more. If I could have asked what was on her mind, if I could have asked what was on his mind just a little bit more, maybe I could have understand more, but maybe I was gone too much. 